What's up guys, today the Bowtie Man here, we're gonna review Nearpod, and here is the product hype video. Nearpod allows teachers to share engaging, interactive lessons with their class and collect real-time feedback from 100% of their students. Let's take a look at a Nearpod lesson in action. On the left, you'll see a teacher view, and on the right, a student view. On the teacher screen, all Nearpod lessons are launched from My Library. To launch a lesson, hover over the lesson you want to launch, then click Live Session or Student Paste. Live Lesson allows the teacher to control the pace of the lesson on all student devices. And Student Paste lets students complete the lesson at their own pace. I'll launch a live lesson for this demo. Anytime you launch a Nearpod lesson, a PIN number appears, which you can share with your students via email, social media, a direct link that you can post to your class page or LMS, or Google Classroom. Now that you've shared this PIN with your students, they open the Nearpod app or website and type in the PIN that you just shared. Now you and your students are connected. You'll notice that I can see my students who have logged into the lesson on the class roster icon on my teacher screen. When I advance through the lesson on my teacher dashboard, the student's lesson progresses as well. When I arrive at an assessment activity, I can view student answers as they submit them. Then I can share student answers back with the class. This allows me to highlight exemplary responses, showcase different approaches to a problem or question, or correct common misconceptions. I can also share multimedia activities with my students, like videos or Nearpod virtual field trips. These are included in Nearpod's Ready to Teach lessons from the Nearpod store, and you can easily incorporate these activities into Nearpod lessons that you build yourself. With Nearpod quizzes, student responses are automatically graded, then, I can share back the results for instant feedback and reflection. Once my lesson is over, I can access student responses via the Reports tab for reflection on my teaching practice, for documentation, or for a grade in my gradebook. So what is Nearpod? Nearpod is a PowerPoint on steroids, basically. And my take is, is this is a great entry point for teachers. It moves in a similar way to PowerPoint, so most people don't have a really hard time kind of adapting to it. Really, when you look at it compared to PowerPoint, there's two really major differences. One, it's gonna put the presentation on the device in front of the kid, and there's loads of interactives. It's also, not only is it an easy entry for teachers as far as a digital change, it's also an easy entry into VR as they have kind of partnered with Cities 360 where you can go and just basically pick where you wanna go and put it into the presentation. And it has some other kind of cool interactives, like they just add a collaborate where you can do basically a crowdsourced digital cork board. And so you could do cool things like do fake social media accounts that way. There's also great assessments within Nearpod that give you data easily. And now when you talk about cost, it does cost a little bit, It's in there, but it's in that kind of sweet spot for a teacher where if you're gonna use it all the time, the cost of a little over $100 is worth it. And so my overall take on this is this, if this is a great way to move teachers away from the sit and get in the front because you can also put kids in a student paste where you could actually differentiate with this. You could use this as digital content. We all have to deliver content somehow and this is kind of one of those great alternative content delivery systems and that's why I love Nearpod and I use it as kind of a base with a lot of teachers and as a starting place with a lot of teachers.